I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. Alright, we'll top in. Uh, this video we're going to be specifically focused on network cards, also known as NIC. With uh, the network cards you can use uh, for the R640 both the network daughter card or the PCIe version, so you have two different choices. Uh, some, some systems for Dell only accept the PCIe version, so I did want to note that you do have the option to use the daughter card. Uh, and what we're going to do in this video as a whole, we're going to show you uh, some of the different types. At the very end, we'll actually put up a whole list of all the different types. We'll show you the different speeds, the different interfaces, then we're going to even install the network daughter card and the PCIe version so you can see how to install both of them. So let's just hop in. So what are some of the different speeds? Well, some of the different speeds are 1 gigabit, 8 gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16 gigabit, 32 gigabit. So you have RJ45, which is also called Ethernet. You have SFP, SFP Plus, SFP28, QSFP, and QSFP56. So those are some of your different interfaces. All right, so I did want to point out again, you can use both the uh, daughter card, which is going to look like this, or the PCIe version, which is going to look like this. So here are your two uh, types that you can use and at the very end of this video we're going to have a whole list of a bunch of different compatible network cards for the R640 and this is not all encompassing but it is a nice uh, complete list uh, as a whole that will let you at least know plenty of things that are compatible. So next what we're going to do is actually show you how to physically install them but I'm going to grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, have my ESD gear on. We are safe to work inside the machine. So you will notice I've laid out two different options, our PCIe and our network daughter card. We're going to install both of them. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's go ahead and put these to the side. We're going to pop our latch like any server we've been in before. So I will note we're working on the uh, 10 bay by 2. The 10 bay by 2 uh, with the rear kit is going to actually have to be removed in order to have access to the network daughter card. So first things first, we need to unscrew over here and just get this nice and loose. And then we're going to unscrew right here and make sure this is completely off. And then once this is off, you'll see it pop up like that. And then all you're going to do is you're going to pull the blue right here and it's going to release this peg as a whole. And then you can take this and flip it over. Now you can technically remove it all the way. To me it's easier just kind of flip it over and then you have access to everything that you need. So we're going to take our network daughter card and we are going to line everything up. So the connector is going to be facing down and you'll notice that there are two blue dots where you're going to actually push it in and then the two screws. So how I always do this is I take the interface here and I push this into the hole to make sure it's fully inserted and then almost like a hinge this will come straight down and when this comes straight down we're going to go ahead and screw our two screws in so we're just going to tighten them up so the first one is done we'll go ahead and tighten the second one until it's nice and snug and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually push onto these two blue buttons right here to make sure connect, our connection is perfect. So just like that, we've installed our network daughter card, and then we will just move our rear cable back into place. So we're just going to line this up and then clip this back part in and screw this back down. So it's a pretty easy installation as a whole. And then I'm going to show you right now how to actually do this with the PCIe slot. So it's going to be very similar to what you saw if you watched our RAID video. You're just going to take these two blue tabs. We're going to push these in. We're going to pull riser one out. Once we pull riser one out, you will have access right here. So we're going to take our blue tab right here. We're going to open it up. We're going to remove the current bracket that's in there. We're also going to extend this blue part right here so that we have access to install our card. So there's three points of emphasis here. The top right here, this little tip of our bracket, 
in the two connection points. And one thing I actually did want to note out note with this uh, low profile is the most common profile for your 640. So if you're at home and you're wondering, hey, which profile should I use? If I do want to use the PCIe, it is low profile. There are two versions to take high profile, the four bay, and there is a 10 bay with two PCIe slots that also takes the uh, the low prof uh, excuse me the high profile. But outside that, all five versions of the 640 take the low profile. And if you have more questions about that, just check out our different chassis video. So now we're going to go ahead and install the three points of emphasis here. So we're going to make sure that our connection is uh, nice and flush and that the tip is in right here. And then we're just going to simply push this in. The leads are gone. They're fully inserted and we're good to go. We're going to push our blue tab back into place and then we're going to lock our bracket into place. And it's just that simple. And now we've installed it into riser one and we're just going to simply come back here and reinstall riser one into the motherboard. So that's how we would do the PCIe version, which again is uh, very simple overall. Make sure it's nice and flush. And that's it. So if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home lab business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. We have AMD Rise, and AMD Epic, Intel Scalable, Intel E3, E5, you name it. We try to do the whole life cycle and we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Now we're going to put up a list of all the different or most of the different network cards that are compatible with the 640. Thank you.